my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for aries sun moon and rising as you guys can see here we've already pulled out the cards for time purposes so let's get right into your reading aries now for the month of september 2018 you have the world card the world card is a signifier of getting to a point in your life where you're starting to experience uh, success, you're starting to experience um, very hard work finally paying off and people taking notice. Uh, you are approaching very quickly an ending cycle to your life and going to the next stage of your life. So what this could entail, for some of you guys, it could represent long-term commitment as we do have the high priest next to the world card. Uh, for some of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship for quite a while, uh, this could signify stepping up to the next level, taking the relationship, either commitment, engagement, or actually physical marriage. Uh, for others of you, again, like I said, if you've been going through a learning or higher learning process, uh, even within work, uh, if they've been sending you for um, studies, uh, some type of um Anything that would assist you in elevating your status within the business, uh, this could be internships, this could be um, taking extra classes, whatever that may be, for the month of September, you're going to be getting um, either there's going to be, you know, the completion of that, graduations, um, for some of you guys, this could represent um, sometimes, you know, within the company, they send you to get some training once that training has been completed, um, then they do bump you up to a higher ranking position or they do, you know, uh, bump up your race. So I definitely do see that for a lot of you guys as we do have uh, very heavy energy for the month of September, the end of September, a lot of um, energy in regards to finances. So again, it's getting to that next level in your life in regards to status and in regards to uh, materializ uh, materialization of the physical realm. Um, now, again, like I said, we do have the nine of wands here and the nine of wands is feeling exhausted, feeling <laughs> physically exhausted. For some of you guys, it could be that, again, you've been working really hard and you've kind of pushed yourself to the limit. Try the best you can, Aries, for the month of September uh, to sleep. At least get your seven, eight hours of sleep. Make sure to be extremely hydrated. Uh, the nine of wands could represent a physical exhaustion, but it can also represent um, the beginning stages where you're not really sleeping enough and it's starting to catch up to you. So I do highly encourage you guys to, again, like I said, try to get some sleep, uh, make sure to uh, keep yourself hydrated and more than anything, sleep, 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 because I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's this feeling of like, uh, you know, when you're extremely exhausted or tired, uh, you start to forget things, you start to become very forgetful. Uh, it's almost like your mind is spacing out a lot and it has a lot to do with, again, mental and physical exhaust exhaustion. So I definitely do encourage you guys to uh, take care of yourselves. Remember, you know, health before anything. Uh, yes, put effort and, you know, energy into what you're doing and you will succeed and you will accomplish that. But never forget to take care of yourself and make sure that you are well taken care of okay now we do have again like i said at the end of the month the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles so these two cards are very heavy earth type of energy and this speaks to me very highly about income and finances now again for some of you guys this could represent the physical ring uh taking it to the next level and actually proposing to your partner or the person you've been with for quite a while for others of you, this is actually an increase in pay that is going to come to you, uh, I want to say the third week of September or the fourth week of September, as we do have those cards at the end of the month. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, um, new beginning in regards to stability. Stability could manifest in different aspects of your life, whether it's in the romance department, in the health department in the finances again like i said uh but it is a promise for materialization and i always prefer to see the ace of pentacles versus other aces because the pentacle is the materialization it is sturdy it's something that's going to be long term so again uh a bump of income um a raise uh 
for some of you guys that have been intern uh, or taking on an internship, the position will be given to you. For those of you guys that have been applying to different jobs, uh, the materialization of that job comes through for you. They will be calling you and letting you know that you will be starting whatever company that you've applied for. Um, you do have here the King of Pentacles. Again, the King of Pentacles is finally getting a point, getting to a point in your life where finally financial stability starts to uh, materialize for you. And more than anything, for some of the Aries, uh, it, it was very, you know, it's been very challenging the month of 2018. Um, but again, with the King of Pentacles, finally your stability comes through and that with stability, your confidence starts to boost up. It starts to go up. Um, you're very authoritative in the sense of because you're so believing in yourself and you're so confident in yourself, uh, it, you know, you are the ram. So you're definitely being ignited and finally taking charge, almost a feeling like you're taking charge of your life. So that's a very beautiful thing. So very many uh, new beginnings for you guys, endings, completions, but more than anything, a lot of financial prosperity for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Okay, bye.